Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jocelyn, if you didn't know. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I talk about self-development, lifestyle, and fitness. And today I'm going to be talking about some of the pros and cons of being a Zumba instructor. I've been in the industry for almost two and a half years now. So just wanted to give you some of my thoughts about being a Zumba instructor and what some of the pros and cons are about being a fitness instructor. So the first thing I want to talk about is the pros because I love Zumba. <laughs> so the first pro that I personally think is amazing about being a Zumba instructor is that you get to build your own brand and your own business, but you don't have to start fresh in the sense of like you're creating all of these routines and all of these dance fitness routines by yourself so zumba is a great way to get into the fitness dance fitness industry because it gives you a lot of routines so like i mentioned before you're not necessarily having to start off by creating all of these dance routines you're giving you're given a blueprint of how to you know, run your class in the way that you can run your class. And so I think that's amazing. Also, with the business aspect of it, even though you are technically using Zumba's brand, you still can brand yourself as your own um, entrepreneur as in, in having your own business with Zumba. So for example, I am a Zumba instructor, but I still am able to brand myself and teach other places and throw all type of events. And so I'm still technically a entrepreneur because in a sense, I'm using Zumba as the brand, but I'm still, <clears throat> I'm still pushing my own classes. I'm still, you know, coming up with my own events. I'm still advertising for my classes outside of LA Fitness and other gyms that I was teaching at. So it's a great way to build a business. Um, one of my favorite pros about being a Zumba instructor is not only do you get to sweat, lose weight, stay in shape, but you also get to help other people accomplish your goals as well. So there has been a plethora of people that have came to me and were like, you know, you give me a great way to sweat and have fun. You know, my goal is to lose X amount of pounds. And realistically, I don't like going to the gym on the treadmill. It's so boring. I get so bored easily. So Zumba is a great way to stay in shape, help other people reach their fitness goals, while also keeping yourself fit and in shape as well. So it's, you, it's like you can't beat it. Not only are you helping yourself, stay fit but you're also helping other people do that as well and so my third pro for being a zumba instructor is you have multiple ways to build income and so i'm actually going to create a whole separate video going more into detail about how you can create multiple streams when you're a zumba instructor I will give you guys a couple of examples just because <laughs> we are on the topic and I want to talk about some of the pros and let you know how easy it is to start making money um, if you put your mind to it and you don't have a scarcity mindset. So one of the things that I always do <laughs> whenever I go to apartment complexes, whether I'm going with a friend to help her pick out an apartment or what I did when I got my own personal apartment is I always give people my business card and give them my email. And that right there, I have gotten, this is my second time teaching at an apartment complex. And all I did was tell them that I'm a Zumba instructor. So it's literally that easy. People want to pay for people to have fun and for people to sweat like that is one of the most common things nowadays everybody wants to be fit everybody wants to sweat and everybody wants to have fun while they're doing it so um my personal com apartment complex actually pays me 50 dollars for 45 minutes per week just for a class and 
you know, that's on the low end. I've had some times where I would teach at an apartment complex and I was making $100 in 45 minutes. So mind you, if you get to the point where you're doing that two, three times away a day, I said away, <laughs> two, three times a day, that's $300 in a day. That's literally a living, you know? So it's definitely possible. I'm not saying that it's easy because it does take time, um, but a lot of it is just putting yourself out there and be willing to brand yourself and not being scared to teach Zumba at an apartment complex or teach Zumba outside um, in your backyard. You know, it's so many ways that you can do it. So that's definitely one of the pros about being a Zumba instructor is once you do understand how to brand yourself and once you start to get, you know, certain deals with apartment complexes or just even birthday events, you can really maximize your dollar while also not working as long because the goal with Zumba is you want to be able to maximize your pockets and obviously do something that you love, but realistically we also want to make money too but you want to be able to maximize your pockets as well as possible per session because zumba is taxing on the body which is one of the things that i'll talk about in my cons but you want to be able to start making 200 300 dollars per event so that way you only have to do two a day or one class a day and have an extra 600 dollars coming in a week so I think that's the most important thing is just sticking to a rate. When you're starting off, it's very understanding to want to lowball yourself. But at the end of the day, you have to think about the potential that you have and how when you keep evolving, keep learning and keep perfecting your craft, you're going to be amazing at it, which you already are, but you're going to become even better. So you have to market yourself that way and help people understand that as well. And so now getting into the cons, I don't know why I'm out of breath. It's been a long day. I, speaking of my apartment complex, I blew my electricity. So if this video is a little dark, that's why, excuse me, I am so sorry. <laughs> but getting into the cons. So one of the, the biggest cons, I guess for me, with Zumba being a Zumba instructor is the money can be very unsteady, but let's be honest right now. That's with any business that you start. Um, whether you're a notary, whether you're a personal trainer, whether you're a Zumba instructor, whether you're a tutorer, there's going to be times where you make buku amount of money. And then there's also going to be times where you don't make any money in a month or not any money, but your income might be lower than certain months. So I think that was the biggest challenge that I had, especially because being a Zumba instructor was my first personal business that I had ever tried to launch. And so I didn't have a regular job or a nine to five job to actually keep me stable, to have something else coming in. So I was solely relying on Zumba. So I was burning myself out teaching four to five classes a day trying to make a steady income but when you're teaching at places like LA Fitness and um, Lifetime or Planet Fitness you're only making probably 20 to 30 dollars an hour and you have to think you're only teaching one hour out of the week or possibly maybe even two hours a week so I see why some people are like, you know, it's not realistic to be able to become a full-time entrepreneur with Zumba, but it is very possible. It's just like I said, with any business, it's going to influctuate and then there's going to be there's going to be times where your money is great and there's going to be times where your money might be a little bit less than what you want or what you expected. And I think that's why for me, now that I have a nine to five job, not saying that I want to work in corporate forever, but I am grateful for having a work from home steady job. It's a good thing now because I'm not necessarily relying on my income from being a Zumba instructor, but it does give me <clears throat> the push to still want to 
fully become a entrepreneur, a 100% Zumba fitness entrepreneur one day, but I know that's going to take time. Um, Also as well with the unsteady business, I know a lot of people had rough times during COVID um, because we were so used to always teaching classes in person. But I think one thing that you have to remember is that with any business, you have to learn how to how to pivot. And that was one of the mistakes that I did not make as a Zumba instructor because a lot of people were going online to teach your classes. And I was like, you know, I don't want to teach online. Like I, I like being in person. But one thing that I didn't realize about teaching online is that not only do I have access to the people in Georgia, but I have access to people everywhere. So with online, with an online business, it is actually technically better to be a Zumba instructor because your reach is going to be a lot larger. So just with the con and the unsteady business, always be prepared and be willing to pivot in order to keep your business successful. My second con is what I touched on a little bit already, and that is it can be physically exhausting. Um, Zumba is very high intense cardio. I don't know if people think that it's not hard at all, but I have friends that go to Zumba and they're like, oh my God, like Zumba is not easy. Like it can be very challenging. So it is very physically exhausting on the body. Luckily, I am young and I'm full of energy. (laughs) So Doing three, four classes a day was tiring, but it wasn't to the point where I was like, I couldn't walk the next day because I was so sore or because my body was aching. So I would just keep that in mind. Um, If you do have physical limitations or if you know that you have a bad back or bad knees, just keep in mind that there is going to be you know, a limit on how many classes you might personally need to teach a day or out of the week in order to stay healthy because we don't want it to be Zumba to be poisonous to our body. We want it to be our medicine, right? So in order for it to be healthy and healing, you have to put a limitation on yourself and know how much and how long can your body do this, right? And so that's completely up to you. But I know me personally, I felt like three classes in a day was probably my max Even as being a Zumba instructor now, I would never go over three classes in a day. I would never go over probably five classes a week. And so going back to what I was saying, you want to really learn how to maximize your coins and maximize your dollar because if you're making $400 at an event and you only have to teach for 45 minutes, you're done for the day, you know? And so it depends on how you want Zumba to turn out for you if you want to just make an extra a hundred dollars a week then you have to you know maneuver and see what works for you but if you want to be a full-time entrepreneur obviously there's other outlets that you have to have as well or not other outlets but other streams of income so whether that may be online courses or whatever the case might be you have to figure out what works for you my last con is it might be hard to find work if you're looking to teach at a gym. And so I know personally, when I got certified, I found a job, I think like two weeks later, and I was teaching at LA Fitness. And LA Fitness was cool because I got to sub a lot. So I was able to literally teach classes all day long, and it gave me a lot of experience. And then also as well, I got to teach in a lot of different areas all around Georgia from Atlanta uh, to Swanee, Duluth, whatever city you can think of, I, I've taught at. And so that is a great thing of once you do find a job, but I will say, especially at, during COVID, I know that it was comp- kind of complicated to try to find work because gyms weren't open. But Going back to what I was saying before, you just have to learn how to adapt and pivot. But I think that um, 
it can be challenging to try to find a job. Now, I will say I was literally calling <laughs> like every single day a new gym to try to find a job. And so, like I said, it only took me two weeks to find a facility to teach at. But it might not be like that depending on what area you're in um, or depending on, you know, if you have a lot of gyms in your area, it might be more complicated. So in all to say, I do think that the best thing about being a Zumba instructor, once again, is building your own business. And so just learn that there's other ways to make money besides teaching at a gym. I honestly, personally, that's my last resort is teaching at a gym. The only reason why I continue to do it is to meet people and to network and to advertise essentially <laughs> my own brand. Um, but I think that being a Zumba instructor has changed my life for the better. Um, I took a class today and I was just like, I literally could do this for free and I am willing to do this for free, but not too long because I do want to be a entrepreneur and run my own business, my own Zumba business full time. But it is such a fun thing to do. It's an amazing time. So I'm super ecstatic and excited that I got into it. And one thing I would just tell you guys is to stick it through. Um, I know times might get hard and it might seem like you can't find work or you can't find a job or you're not able to get connects and, you know, teach at events or, you know, host parties and teach at apartment complex. But I apartment complexes. Sorry, I cannot talk today, but I promise you eventually something will come from being a Zumba instructor as long as you continue to put the work and the effort in. So with that being said, those are my three pros and cons to being a Zumba instructor. If you have any questions, please leave a question below. Um, I'll also have my email linked in the description as well to see if you have any questions, you can always contact me. But um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.